This is a demo on how to resolve merge conflicts on, in Git on Windows. So first thing we'll need to do is download the merge tools such as dip merge. It's free and open source. Um, so once you've installed it, we're going to use uh, Atlassian source tree as our visual Git tool, and which kind of simplifies the setup. So to choose our, once dip merge is installed, just go to tools, options, and diff, and select diff merge from the dropdown. This kind of runs uh, six or seven commands in the background, so you can choose the merge tool automatically. You don't have to run that manually in the, the terminal. Source tree actually monitors the return status of diff merge to see when the process ends and lets you know when the problem has been resolved. So now we're going to branch off master to simulate a merge conflict. Let's create a new branch. It's called branch two. Off master. So now master and and branch two should have the same files, alpha and beta.txt. So here's alpha and here's beta.txt. So let's check out master again and make some changes to the file. Changes in master one. And commit the changes. Commit that. So let's push it to the server. Why not? Nice and simple. So now branch two and master, branch two should be behind master. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes to branch two after checking it out. You notice that alpha and beta has reverted because it is off the original master. Um, branch changes in alpha and branch changes in beta. Commit the changes. Cool. <clears throat> I'm going to check out master now. Now, when we try to merge in branch two, we should have a conflict. Merge branch two into current branch. Okay. So now we have conflicts. Click on there, we see alpha and beta have a little exclamation mark for conflicts. Just right click on alpha and go to resolve conflicts and launch external merge tool. So one conflict cannot be automatically merged. <clears throat> so the middle pane is what we're going to actually have as our final outcome. The left pane is what we have on our local machine and the right pane is on the remote. <laughs> now we just choose which one do we want. So for example, let's click on this change set here. We can either manually type it in, make the changes ourselves, or we can choose the left side or the right side, depending on which one we want. So. If we choose the branch changes, let's just click on this here. And now to move this, the changes on the right side into the middle. And let's say that's solved. Let's save the file and close. Close that. And on the beta file, resolve conflicts, launch an external tool. Okay. And say I want to choose this one here and add an extra line. Save. Save and close. I'm going to click on file status. 
and it generates a bunch of other extra files as well so you can get the original and the backup but we don't really need those and commit so on alpha we kept the branch changes and on beta it stayed the same so it, it didn't take in any changes but it added an extra line there that we manually typed in and then once we try to commit it'll tell it will give us a, a merge message automatically and tell us which conflict with files which files we resolved let's commit and push and delete all these files off your local machine. And now that we're on master, beta file, we can delete these files here, these backup files. Nope, that one too. So now alpha has our branch changes and beta has our original change that was in master plus the manual one that we typed in, and that's it.